Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. So in today's episode, we are actually going to be learning how to create a ball that will, or actually it'll be a cube, that will, you can move around. So input axes and stuff like that on a player pawn. So first off, we're going to want to create a new pawn class here. I'll just go ahead and create Let's create a new folder and call it blue prints. And if you didn't know, oh, my bad here, let's go back. And if you didn't know, you can go here and set color and you can change the color to something else to make it stand out. Let's go ahead and just move that into here. And so let's just rename this cube, cube, underscore. P. And first off, I didn't show this, but you are going to want to create a new project and it should be an empty project. And so it has no other third person or anything. And it m make sure you do starter content unless you have your own mesh or something that you want to put in. So let's open up. Let's go ahead and open up uh, cube BP. And let's just go ahead and just move this down. And so let's go ahead and just create a static mesh. So static mesh, and then let's name this cube, cube. Okay, and then let's go ahead, and this is where I said do starter content because we'll just go ahead and just do cube. Let's, that's fine, let's size. And we wanna make sure you check simulate physics because that's gonna make it to where you can move around and make sure it's movable too. It's very important. If it's static, it you, you won't be able to do the moving it around and stuff like that. So let's go back here and let's go to project settings. I always do file. I always get messed up. Project settings and then inputs down here. So an in input. There's axis mappings and there's action mappings. Now you can do an individual one of all of these. Like you can go like move forward, move back, move left, move right. Like, but it's way easier to do it on input the axis mappings because you can do like forward and backwards and left and right in the same thing. So you only need two of these. I'm gonna do this. You can do it up there too. It will help with it and you want to and we're we're gonna do it with keyboard gamepad you can use controller I, i'll show you what the actual things are for the controllers too so um for this you want four words slash back words and then you want w so keyboard i'll just search W and then S and you can do up arrow and down arrow and stuff like that like so and then left left slash right and with the scale thing you want it for backwards you want it inverted so you just go like that it makes it really easy and then for this you want a See gamepad, um, A and D. So okay, so now for D, let's do negative. It may, I'll have to check, but it may need to be this one negative. I think A needs to be negative. If I'm right, but we'll we'll find that out eventually. So now that we have these, actually I'm gonna show you what the gamepad one is. So it'd be, so let's open up gamepad and then it would be, um, where's the thumb? It's gamepad, thumbstick. I think this is, this is the Y axis and then this one would be gamepad X axis. Left thumbstick, X axis. So you don't need to invert this or anything because it's one button type thing. So that's all you need to do for if you were doing controllers. So um, now let's go back to the cube BP. So let's go to the event graph 
and let's go, let's just delete all of these. You don't need any of these. And then, but here, we're gonna go here and then go down to input. I think it passed it. No, I didn't. Input, 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 right here. And then axis events, and then see how they're here now. Forwards, backwards, and then let's go ahead and just create the left, right. So let's go back to input, axis events, left, right. And so let's just do that. So um, off of this, you want to do a torque. A torque is going to make it move forward with like a slow drastic, um, like it's slow increasing torque. So it'd be add torque in radians. So it's gonna immediately do a reference to the cube and that's fine, we need the cube. The cube is what we want it to be a reference. So, but now off of this, we're gonna want to uh, split structs pin. That just makes it to where it goes X, Y, Z. So it will just automatically do that. But what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna create, actually I'll do that a little bit later. So first off, let's pull off of this and do a multiply pin. So a multiply, so just a multiplication symbol, the little asterisk, float times float. So, and then for the forwards backwards, we're gonna wanna plug this into the Y. So um, for left and right, it'll be the X, and we'll just duplicate this and plug it in down there, so it will make it faster. But for now, that's fine. And then um, this, so you, you uh, this is when we're gonna wanna create a variable because magic numbers, which this would be a magic number, you don't wanna have a lot of them, like I said in multiple of my past episodes, that because um, they mess things up, they, they don't work well together with lots of them in a single one, and they make it really hard to edit your blueprints and stuff because you're gonna have to go through in each individual one, and as you get more complicated in the blueprints and do more stuff, you'll get more and more of these. So what you wanna do is you just wanna go into here and do add variable and you just want to do um you just want to name it acceleration multiply by year so and then this you're going to want to do a float so there's two ways that you can add, make it a float so you can do it up there or you can go over here and change it to a float um, so off of this, we want it to, um, so here it says, please compile this blueprint. So the, just go ahead and compile it. And then over here, you just want to do like something like, let's do third or let's just do 12. Um, and then you want to drag this out and then get, so, and then you just want to plug that in. So that's going to make it to where your little cube will move forward and backwards and then compile and save. And then let's just go ahead and create the left, right too. I don't want that. There we go. And then what the hotkey for doing, for duplicating really easy is you just hover your mouse wherever you want it and then control W and it'll just go ahead and just duplicate that. So right there and then, oh, yes. and then plug that in. So there we go for the pretty simple just movements and torque. So let's just go ahead and compile and save. And then let's just go ahead and go back to here. And, but we are gonna have to create a game mode. Okay, so here, game mode. Um, here, let's do F2, game, game mode underscore b b b okay and then we're gonna want to create a i don't know if we need the player controller no we don't need a player controller but what we're going to do is go into world settings and then go the game mode override and then you want to go game mode underscore bp or whatever you named it and then um in here you want default pawn class 
default pawn class to be your um, cube underscore BP so so that's just gonna create your actually yeah so that's just gonna make it to where that's what will spawn in because that's your game mode that's the rules of the game but in here to make it to where you'll notice that if we if we press play like you saw that little flash that was our cube but our camera is all messed up because i haven't added a camera yet so you want to go back into your viewport and then on default scene route you want to do spring arm and then off the spring arm you don't need to rename it anything or anything like that you just want to do camera so that's just going to connect the camera to it and then you just want to do that and then maybe some rotating and if you didn't know w is for doing the arrows and moving it around e is for rotating and r is for scaling so we're just going to go ahead and just do like 45 or 50 degrees and then over here you just want to do like just drag that up to about a thousand a thousand is usually a pretty good top down type scroller type thing so that should be good for our camera so now if we go back in and we press play you'll see that and you saw it drop um but it's not moving now um this can be caused by a lot of different things but the main thing that you're gonna want is here um so why exactly isn't it moving so what's what's an event graph so event begin play we don't have one of those have duration um I think we need more acceleration. Yeah, I think we need more acceleration in it. So, we just want to go like 1,200 or something like that. Um, play or not. Okay, something's messing this up and uh, it may be a little bit before I find out, and I'll be back with you when I figure it out. Okay, so I figured it out. So I think we need to just do check the acceleration change, and if you if true, the torque is shaken change on the acceleration. So it will um it will uh you don't need to have that big number. You don't need to have a huge number because it's not going to implement the mass of the cube. So this is when you can put it back down to 12 and then compile, save, and then it should move. I think it may be because it's a cube and it doesn't have the physical properties of something. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and change that to a spear. Let's see, um, spear, 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 spear not material spear uh cylinder shape plane spear so right here compile save um if we go back into the event graph it should still it may i think yeah it's still going to be called cube so we don't need to mess with that but if we do this see how it, it moved uh, now it's inverted the wrong way so if we press S, it will move forward. And if we press, like, they're inverted wrong. So how we can fix this is just go into project settings and just go like this. So let's do one. And then negative one. And then one. And then negative one. And that should, if I'm correct, should make it to where it moves yeah forward backwards but we're having it's not moving oh yeah okay so in here we forgot to plug it into the x so you just go ahead and just go like that and then to destroy one of those little lines you just press alt and then click it 
So now that's gonna that's gonna move left, right instead of forward, backwards. So left, right, forwards, backwards with WASD. So and this is just how you can control. So this may we may actually be able to do this with the cube. We may. So if I just go to cube, I don't know why it isn't. It could be because it doesn't roll. I don't know. I think it's just because it doesn't roll that it doesn't move. But um, yeah, so it has to be a sphere. Okay, so basically what it means is if you have this acceleration multiplier, multiplier, okay, um, multiplier, it will, it's just saying like that's how fast that it's gonna excel like do its acceleration if you make this faster it's gonna go faster but um and then it multiplies it with the axis value and stuff like that into the y so it move forward and backwards and the cube is the target or the technically the spear but um so yeah but this acceleration change it would it does it makes it to where it doesn't calculate the mass into the problem the uh, math problem here it, it doesn't put the mass into it so you don't have to have like 15 million in here like to actually make it move if this was unchecked this would have to be like a million like one million so it makes it to where you don't have to have a huge number because the it's like in newton meters that's how that's what unreal uses and stuff like that so that's basically it for the episode so don't forget to like and subscribe it always supports the channel and helps me grow and um if you have any ideas for comments and i mean not for comments for future ideas and stuff like that for tutorials or if you have any questions make sure to comment them down below and so yeah bye